Hello my soccer universe. Well, I'm recording this to, during daylight and yay! We are talking about what to watch Champions League Classics, the last installment for now. And let's see where this uh, will lead us. For me, this is kind of a little bit a hard period to gauge because um, especially for the first three seasons here. I mean, I always saw the final and I saw uh, some games, but I was not as um, much following. I mean, I was following it, but not as much watching as I used to before. It's clearly young family, <laughs> baby around, moving a lot, uh, trying to figure out life back in Europe. So those are the main um, excuses, if you liked. Um, at least for the 18-19 season, you already know I have covered that on this channel and uh, also then later I got a little bit more. But there are actually quite some interesting and uh, remarkable matches in that one. But there are also some seasons that are so and so. I have to say the 14-15 season is probably one of the better ones of those uh, five here. Ah, before I get started, yes! I should wear Real Madrid in this one, but I have won already the white jersey. They have not won anyone in black and I thought, well, let's wear, wear Liverpool because they, towards the end of this de decade, they got a little bit stronger and to not always have, you know, uh, in those I have so far worn Milan, I have worn Barcelona, I have worn Madrid. <sighs> Wearing again Madrid, I wanted to get a little bit of a different feel into the whole thing. So let's start out with the 2014-15 season and let's go straight to the group stage. You know, that's the one thing that actually bugs me in a way. Um, when we started early in the Champions League, it was we could even I could even recommend some qualification games. Now the qualification games are not as you know outstanding, maybe the wrong word, but they're not all that great anymore. Group stage 14, 15, I'm looking here, oh la la la, yeah, the <laughs> PSG Barcelona, I think that, that one I, I, I remember watching, it was group F um, in the group stage, so that uh, PSG Barcelona, maybe not so much Barcelona PSG, but I think that one was a good one, uh, kind of setting up things for a little bit later but other than that i have to say the group stage kind of leaves me a teeny bit cold when i look at the matchups there especially when i when i see how the groups went afterwards i mean uh one group also in group did the dortmund arsenal this was kind of you know dortmund now being uh royalty in the champions league a little bit um and uh, since i'm wearing liverpool liverpool having kind of a not so great performance there knockout stage. I think this is all very, very sad. I mean, there was Juve Dortmund, um, which promised to be great, turned out not to be that much. Um, but this was a season where uh, Monaco kind of got a little bit um, on the good end of things. And Arsenal Monaco is one of those, um, maybe you want to watch that one. Uh, one that I definitely want to recommend is uh, Real Madrid Schalke, the return leg in the round of 16. That was a great game. Absolutely great, uh, great game. Um, Real Madrid won 2-0 at Schalke. But there was drama in the end. Uh, PSG Chelsea, I think, was one of those matches, especially the re return leg. That was an absolute nuts match, the return leg. Um, I can re recommend that one. And then when I look, I mean, yes, in the quarterfinals, there was Atletico against Real. Uh, I remember this was uh, being billed and touted as one of the big matchups. So, yeah. Uh, Tight, tight, tight games, not many, many goals, but definitely worth watching. Uh, PSG Barcelona was a little bit of a letdown in the quarters. Uh, that was better in the group stage. Semifinals, Juve Real, you can watch both games. Uh, great action, nail biting. Uh, Juventus kind of riding a wave. Maybe we can do something here. It was Allegri's first season against the Real Madrid team that were the defending champions. So uh, there is everything you want of a Champions League two-legged tie is in that tie. Uh, the other semi-final, I totally recommend the first Barcelona-Bayern uh, matchup. Pure magic. 
absolutely magic. Uh, the return leg uh, was a bit lacking suspense, but there were some great saves in there. I was reminded today about one by Ter Stegen in his first season at Barcelona. The final itself was ac actually a good one, I have to say. Uh, I remember that one fondly. Not as fondly though as the Juve away jerseys that they wore in Madrid. But I remember that final fondly. It was an uh, entertaining final that I actually had packed down as maybe a one nil final. Um, yeah. I only wish it would have ended after 95 minutes in a, in, in a way to spare me a certain person from scoring. Let's move on. After a really great season, I have to, have to say the 15-16 season, I don't have as such a wonderful season in memory, but let's uh, see what we we have there. Uh, I mean, Group A is Real Madrid against PSG. Lo looks all great. I <laughs> know there are almost no goals in there. And when I look at some of the groups, it's absolutely crazy. But I want to point out the Manchester City Juventus uh, game. That was kind of looked a good one. Uh, that you were then uh, towards the end of the group stage uh, threw that group away for no apparent reason. And that bit them in the tail a little, a little bit later should also be noted. Um, uh, yeah, in the 14-15 season, I missed one match because I see here Roma got a few beatings and I think the one uh, at the hands of Bayern at home from a technical point, point of view, this was Guardiola Bayern at its best. That is unfortunately a game I can recommend. I see in Group E, Barcelona also hammered Roma. So Roma not having all that great of a time in the Champions League there. Um, but yeah, group stage, forget about it. Let's go straight into the knockout stage. We had again PSG Chelsea, which is not, was not as exciting. Um, also, Arsenal Barcelona, remember this was in the previous one, this was one of the big matchups. No, no, no. You want to go straight to Juve Bayern. Both matches. Both matches are definitely worth your time. This is Champions League at its very best. Uh, I also think PSG Man City at first is pretty good. Then, Wolfsburg made it to the quarterfinals there. Take note of that. Uh, and played Real Madrid. Uh, as an overall, I think the matches are worth watching, but I'm not sure if it's um, how much drama it actually provides. Um, I think the matchup of the quarterfinal there was Barcelona Atletico Madrid. Both games, both teams playing in their away jerseys in both legs which I find uh, rather weird, but hey, that's how, how they play. I remember, I did not see these games, but I remember the MDS described as both being super tight and super entertaining to watch. You know, this was um, Atletico Madrid at their very, very best. Uh, I remember the semi-final between Manchester City and the Real Madrid was a total letdown with the scoreline in favor of the winner, much, much uh, smaller than it should have been. And Atletico Madrid, Bayern, the return leg. That's the one you want to watch. The final was a tedious one. So um, I rather want to stay away with it or from it. Uh, it was also, uh, there was a certain Peacock player in there who did not show a thing in the tournament, or at least in that game and had himself celebrated as the biggest as the big cheese more or less at the end so not want to say much more that bugged me but yeah for 15 16 i have to say was not the one that i remember most fondly 16 17 champions league i think there were some car, uh, really cool games in there and uh we already said i think this was the one season we already know Real Madrid won three in a row. That was the one season where you could say Real Madrid was the best team in Europe. In all the others, I think it was a fluke that they won. I seriously think so. Um, what do we have in the group stage? Oh, there's a Barcelona City Gladbach group, but you know, nah, not all that. Forget about that one. Um, yeah, Dortmund in that season was, um, first of all, two home games that you definitely should watch. Dortmund Real Madrid, I think that was uh, that was a very interesting one. Uh, you know, Dortmund trying. Uh, this was under Tuchel. Uh, really, let's get something going. Maybe let's repeat the club times, and they had the team to do it. Uh, they were free scoring because Dortmund Legia Warsaw. You would not watch that under, under normal circumstances. If you want to see loads of goals, and I mean loads of goals, 
watch that one. I think these are the most goals scored in a game. And it's not that disbalanced <laughs> distribution either. Um, is that the Champions League record? It might as well be. It might as well be. So if you like goals, that's the goal. That's the uh, one for you. Uh, group cheat as Leicester City in there who won their group. Leicester City. Remember them? Uh, and yeah, you with Sevilla, Lyon. Mm, yeah, it, it's all right. Again, knockout stage is where we go. Um, Man City, Monaco. We had Monaco not too long ago. This is the, this is the season of Monaco that you really want to watch it. I think what they did against Man City there. The first leg, again, crazy many goals. Second, second leg, not as many, actually only half as many goals, but still more than most games will have. So um, watch that one. This is the first season, I think, under... Is it the first season? First or second season? No, it's the second Guardiola season, I think. So um, definitely worth your time. Um, of course, PSG Bars persona. I saw the return leg. I, I saw the first leg too. Yes, I, I, I saw those. Uh, PSG Barcelona. Famous matchups. Uh, rather lopsided on most times. I, I remember I was in the hospital for, for the return leg. I was so looking forward to watching that game and seeing it and then after a certain goal I turned off and I regretted it. No, not uh, I turned off ten to, with 10 minutes to go. Bad on me. And then I woke up next morning I couldn't believe what, what, what I saw. Well, that's how it goes. Um, I also want to say Leicester City uh, at home to Sevilla is probably worth your time. Dortmund Monaco would have been a great game. <laughs> the problem is uh, Dortmund. Uh, there was the bomb attack. Juve Barcelona. Nah, not. It's again Bayern Real Madrid. Bayern Real Madrid. Uh, both legs definitely worth your time. Uh, going all out. Um, semi-finals. No. <laughs> <laughs> You can watch the first half of Real Madrid Atletico, I think. Yeah. But uh, I watched that one and then, yeah, I can tell. Then Real Madrid scored and deflated the whole thing. Uh, the final, despite it having a rather lopsided score, was a pretty good one. And um, there's at least one sensational goal in there. That is a final I also, I don't want to say I remember fondly because I, the team that I wanted to win did not win. But for... I really liked that Real Madrid had to play in purple there. Uh, that looked great against Juventus. It was, um, to the eye, a rather pleasing jersey matchup, I have to say. Okay, then let's move further to the 17-18 season. Now we're getting to the ones. The last two years in the Champions League produced some incredible ties. You saw it already here, the build of this, but... Um, we already had a few uh, matchups here where you could say, yeah, no lead is safe. This was all obliterated in the last two seasons. Uh, has to be clearly, clearly, clearly said. Um, I think in the group stage here, we had a couple of 3-3s three worth your time uh, between Chelsea and Roma. Uh, was one that I was interesting. And then one of the crazier 3-3s three that you'll ever see between Sevilla and Liverpool. Also, worth your time, I think. Uh, we had Barcelona, Juventus, their return, but I remember both uh, those games were not li living up to their billing as much as others would say. Also, this was a first uh, season where you could feel that Spurs could do something uh, playing against Real Madrid. Uh, something maybe worth your time. Again, knockout stages. I think Juve Spurs both games... Uh, Classic Juve, absolute classic Juve in, in a way, worth your time. Um, then quarterfinals, um, Juve Real Madrid in both ways. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what can I say? Um, incredible, incredible, incredible matches. Uh, great goals, great drama, uh, everything you want to have. And in fact, this is the matchup that in the end uh, had Ronaldo deciding, let's go to Juventus. Uh, Liverpool Manchester City would have been a great matchup, um, but yeah, Liverpool killed a little bit, but still watched the first game, quite impressive. And then watched the return leg of Roma against Barcelona. Um, yeah, 
this is also where Barcelona started that uh, tradition. The semi-finals, there is the one between Liverpool and Roma that has so many goals there. Uh, it's almost ridiculous. It looks like PlayStation results, but I think the uh, end result was never really in doubt. So that's why I cannot really recommend it. But Bayern Real Madrid uh, was a little bit better, especially their return leg. Again, uh, it was a Bayern shot themselves in the foot and then Liverpool shot themselves in the foot in the final. Uh, that final is one of the craziest things you'll ever see. I call it Sergio Ramos final. Uh, maybe if you're a Liverpool fan, you don't want to watch that one, but yeah, it's going down into history. And you know, we had before the redemption story, so it's the start of, a, of the legend of Liverpool back in Europe. And that brings us now to the 1890s. So in this season here, in the 1780, we had crazy quarterfinals. Uh, here we had crazy quarterfinals and crazy uh, semifinals. Uh, we don't need to talk uh, much about it. But I even when I start in the group stage, there were quite some amazing uh, games. Um, Spurs at home to Barcelona, wonderful game. Spurs at home to Inter, crazy game. I even want to say Inter uh, at home to Spurs was a, a, a game worth the time. Group C was a super tight one. Um, what can I say? Liverpool, PSG, uh, PSG, Napoli. Those are two and I think even Liverpool at home to Nap Napoli uh, were great games. I want to say Na Napoli at home to Liverpool. This was a crazy group where I think all of these teams, if they had made it through, they could have gone far. Okay, well, one imploded and I don't know what Nav Napoli would have done, but this was really good. Also, I, I remember that um, Ajax uh, playing in Munich was already a sign of things to come, um, but especially uh, the, the games Ajax against Benfica and Benfica Ajax. I remember those very, 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 very fondly as good games. Um, really fun games to watch uh what else do we have yeah i think this was pretty, pretty much in in the group stage knockout stage uh enjoy full game was schalke city uh to a point uh, a little bit but ajax real madrid both both watch both really good games um i was entirely enthralled by psg at man united and then watch the uh return leg I think that's worth your time. Uh, Liverpool Bayern should have been a big one, but never was. I think that Roma Porto, that that, that, that was, or Porto Roma, the return leg, there was quite some drama in there. So I think I can recommend that, that, that one. The, can I say the craziest game? Yeah, probably, probably the, craze, the craziest game you'll ever see was um, City at home to Spurs in the return leg of the quarter quarterfinals. Um, absolutely nuts contentious, everything that you want to have in there. Ajax, Juve, both games. The first leg was a wonderfully balanced game between youthful spirit and, um, how, 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 how to say, being cool and experienced. This was kind of the, and this is what, what uh, and for three halves, this was wonderful. And yeah, it was very, very much embarrassed. And only the last half is where one team then really took away. Um, and what shall I say about the semifinals? Um, Barcelona, Liverpool. I think the better game was actually the one in Barcelona. Uh, that was, despite the scoreline, was a very balanced game. Uh, the return leg is just sheer madness, and the return leg in the other semifinal. Hurts to this day, um, absolutely worth your time. Absolutely worth that. I mean, this is the stuff where you just say, uh, it, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming every, every, everyone knows uh, the result of that one, but I have to tell you, um, if you were to tell someone the greatness of the Champions League, I think you can choose here. I mean, as I said, Spurs City, Ajax, Juve, and the two semifinals, both legs. Uh, absolute must watch the final boring shitty affair too long of a day off well 
We made it so far. Yeah, there were some good Champions League games this season as well, but mm, let's see if the Champions League even finishes. We will have a 1920 season, um, but there were a few good ones. But that is so recent that I don't include it now. So these are my recommendations for Champions League classics to watch. I actually would really love to do, and I'm not sure if now that uh, things get kicking up again, I would really love to do a history of the European Cup, the Champions League, kind of a season by season thing. That would be really fun to do. But hey, let's see how it goes. Let me know which, you, which games you would recommend in those five years that I um, covered here. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.